Hello everybody, this is ACH AIA Akaya bringing you another shoutcast of the StarCraft 2 beta. Goody wishing his opponent Sen good luck because uh, they are in the semifinals now. Um, and Goody, of course, playing as Protoss, as you may have known if you watched the previous videos that I put up from the Zotac, uh, Zotac Cup series. And this is going to be the semifinals. So the last ones that I broadcast were the round of eight. This is the semifinals now. Uh, next is going to be the finals, of course. And the red Protoss here in the lower left um, is going to be Goody, of course. And in the upper left, we have the yellow Zerg, which is going to be Sen. So this game going to be interesting we are on Kulas Ravine, which is a four-player map, so if you play 1v1 on it, um, of course you have a little bit of a chance as to how quickly you find your ally, depending, or I'm sorry, not your ally, but your opponent rather, depending on which way you scout, because there are four starting positions, because this map um, supports four players. So basically, uh, these players will be a, a little bit in the dark as far as what everybody's going until they can manage to find out what uh, expansion or what main base rather their uh, enemy has started in. So it looks like Sen is sending an overlord out over to the right here. He's going to check the upright expansion with his overlord and sending a drone out. I'm um, going to scout one of the bottom bases here and it looks like he is first scouting the Zelnaga Watchtower to see if there's anything there um, and then going to move down to this lower right expansion and seeing that Zelnaga Watchtower go up it looks like he did catch a glimpse of that probe so he's going to be aware that Goody is in the lower left with his base and Goody it looks like getting lucky um, he is going to scout the top left as his first ex uh, first base to look at so he is going to find Sen immediately and know exactly where his enemy is um, and of course Sen already got his spawning pool going down spawning pool on 14 um, pretty common build for the Zerg that's something that I've, I've done a lot myself um, 14 or 13 is pretty good timing um, and it looks like Goody is going to be putting the pylon in the gateway up at his entrance. So creating a little bit more of a choke here. Um, when you're playing against the Zerg player, it's always good to narrow down the choke if you can. Um, and especially, I'm guessing he's going to get a few Zealots into this gap here. Because um, Speedlings can do a run by by your Zealots very easily if you don't have a very good choke made. So, And of course, that could cause a game to go down very, very quickly. Um, but of course, he is smarter than that. So he is going to try to wall off a little bit here. Um, and an assimilator going down, although it looks like Sin uh, paying Goody back for uh, stealing um, his enemy Liquid Nazgul's <laughs> gas last game. So he's going to be building an extractor on Goody's secondary, although uh, this is going to slow down his gas, but he is not going to get a whole lot of scouting from this other than how many probes his uh, enemy has on his mineral line and on his gas because obviously all the tech, although he is canceling it, so he did slow down the assimilator but did not actually keep it there uh, so that he had to kill it. And it looks like a couple of zeal, or I'm sorry, just one zeal and one probe now moving out. And I'm not sure if he's going to try to put some pressure on. It looks like Sen might be trying to go for a fast expansion here. Um, and he is going to put down this hatchery. Although the uh, the probe and the zealot are going to be right there. And it looks like another probe coming up and another zealot. So two probes, two zealots on the offensive very, very early here. Going to try to force him to cancel that hatchery. Although Sen has his queen out. Um, and he does have the ability, once again, to build zerglings. So we may see him start to scramble to crank out some zerglings here very quickly and it looks like Sen is going to have to cancel that hatchery and move back because of the two zealots and two probes that have been brought up to put pressure on that and he does have some zerglings now six zerglings here defending with the queen so uh, this is going to be a pretty close battle zealots are very very strong against zerglings um, in Starcraft 1 one zealot could take down a, about two two and a half zerglings but three zerglings could pretty easily kill a zealot um, Unless the Zealot was microed very well. In StarCraft 2, without even trying, a Zealot can kill four Zerglings uh, by itself. So these Zerglings are not the best units to go against Zealots until they've been upgraded a little bit. But um, at this point in the game, <laughs> the Zerglings and the Queen are about all you got. One thing that is nice is that the Queen can reach over the Zerglings. Um, she does have a melee attack, but she has a slightly ranged melee attack. So while these Zerglings are up on the front lines attacking these Zealots and Probes, the Queen is able to hit those Zealots and Probes from behind as you can see reaching over the zerglings there and uh, taking some shots on these zealots even though the queen is not directly in front of these units and it looks like Sen is having to pull his probes off and almost losing his queen there the queen very very low on HP and he oh my goodness only two hit points left or ten hit points rather left and it looks like he's going to take down these zealots in a roach coming out roach is very very powerful and he 
barely manages to hold on to this queen. What great micro by Sen, although he did lose a lot of his drones. Um, if we take a look at the unit overlay here, he has got 10 less miners than Goody does at this point. So Goody had a pretty good advantage right now. Although with the macro ability of the queen to produce the extra larva, he should be able to get those numbers back up relatively quickly, hopefully. Um, and it looks like he is going to move out, possibly try to do some kind of a counterattack. He has two roaches, three roaches now, and a few zerglings to back up with that. And it looks like Sen is possibly going to try to go ahead and throw down another hatchery immediately here. Um, and moving out here, he is going to catch the scouting probe from Goody, and it's not going to manage to get all the way up into Sen's base again. Um, Goody, of course, has that gateway still at the entrance. One zealot, one sentry, and one stalker guarding it. Um, which, with this army that Sen has, I don't know if he'll be able to actually take this out and do a significant amount of damage. Two more gateways coming in for Goody, though, so his production capacity will go up pretty significantly here. And immediately throwing down a force field to try to block these extra roaches from getting in. And Sen is going to have to run his roaches away. Um, and the warp gate technology will be finishing here shortly, which will allow him to warp in some additional reinforcements very quickly here. And looks like these three roaches are going to try to fire down this uh, gateway here. <laughs> and some uh, micro going on there, even though there's not anything to micro against right now, because um, there are no units other than this one sentry that just popped out outside of this choke. Um, and it looks like Sen gonna shy away from trying to do any more damage here. Um, his second hatchery is up and going here, and as you can see, he has caught up on the drones a little bit here now that he does have uh, 21 drones. Still slightly behind Goody at this point, but if he can manage to get his secondary expansion up and hold it for a little bit, um, that will catch him up pretty quickly. Um, as Goody has not gone for, gone for his own expansion just yet. Um, a few more pylons going down here in another gateway. So at this point, it looks like Goody is looking to macro up and build a pretty big army, um, going with a pretty good mixture here of sentries, stalkers, and zealots. So a very diverse army, and um, those zealots, again, very, very potent against uh, the Zergling army of the Zerg players here. Um, although, if he could go heavier on the roaches, roaches are countered very well by uh, immortals, although Goody does not have any immortals yet. Stalkers are more effective against roaches now that they have the additional attack. Um, the attack has been modified. Um, it used to be, oh gosh, I can't even remember anymore, but all I remember is that it moved some of the bonus damage um, out of the bon bonus damage category and into the base damage category. So Stalker's now doing more damage against all units rather than just more damage against specific unit types. So uh, they are a better counter for Roaches than they were, but still not as effective as Immortals, obviously, because Immortals just do so much damage. They can basically uh, two-shot Roaches, if, um, especially if you've got some supporting units. And a lot of force fields going down here again. Goody just showing... Uh, out of these past two games just how strong his uh, micro is with these sentries and it looks like uh, he is going to be pushing very very heavily on the expansion of Sen here right now and pretty good micro with his roaches so far another force field going down but he's going to try to focus fire down this hatchery and of course Sen is going to have to back off because he does not have nearly enough roaches to deal with this at this point point. Um, and it looks like Sen is going to lose this hatchery again which is unfortunate for him because that seemed to be his ticket back into this game economically. Um, as you can see, he is falling behind on the drone count again. And Sen sending 1G. I'm sure he meant GG, but that first game going to Goody once again. So Goody showing how his skills are as a Protoss player. Let's move on to game two. GG.